It can be yours if you let me know which one you prefer. I, I think I know the answer, but I wanted to put you on the spot. I am a traditional cream puff kind of gal, Chris. I was wrong. I figured you'd go for the chocolate. No. Well, that means I guess I'll have to eat it. Oh, darn. Darn. <laughs> I like that, but I'm not at all surprised that he ended up with two of them. It doesn't surprise me in the least. Uh, taking a look at the drought monitor, which was updated today, we did see a little bit more improvement this week across Hamden County, Connecticut, and parts of Worcester County. Not a ton of improvement, though, so we still have a lot of moderate drought across the area. Now, today's rain was definitely beneficial, and it will go into next week's drought monitor, but honestly, there's not a whole lot of rain coming our way after today's rainfall. Uh, so looking at some of the rainfall totals that have come in, Springfield here at our station, we picked up around two inches. Shoots very close to that, and then everyone else was over over an inch that I've seen so far today. So some serious rain. We actually got a couple of severe thunderstorm warnings this morning. Now there are one or two spot showers still around kind of moving across Hampshire and Franklin counties right now. Very isolated. The big batch of heavy rain is moving off the coast. And as we take a look at your 24, we'll continue to see some scattered clouds. I would call it clear to partly cloudy for the rest of the evening. Breezy for sure. The wind hasn't really started to ramp up yet, but you will notice it soon. We'll have patchy clouds throughout the hills and again, just some scattered cloud cover through Friday morning. Temperatures are going to fall into the mid 40s early tomorrow and with the wind and the drier air, you are going to notice that chill. We continue throughout the day Friday. Uh, if you're going to have coffee outside, I would suggest, you know, like a coat because we're going to be chilly, uh, especially with the wind. Now we'll get some breaks of sunshine tomorrow, but it looks like it'll be a partly cloudy morning and then a sunny afternoon. Highs only making it into the middle and upper 50s. So the biggest taste of fall for sure. And tomorrow it's fitting because it is the first full day of fall. Temperatures taking a big dip tonight, falling into the mid 40s and then tomorrow's temps not rising much at all. Middle to upper 50s with clearing skies. Now we are going to start getting a little bit warmer as we head into the weekend. Humidity though is going to stay very, very low all the way through Sunday morning. You can see a little bit of a bump here, but we're not getting into that muggy and humid range. So I mean, we're almost kind of done with that season unless something tropical comes up our way. It's rare that we go into the end of September and beginning of October with humid conditions. Now there is a chance for some showers with that little bump in the dew points starting Sunday night and going out through Monday, but it doesn't look like much. It looks like just occasional showers. It doesn't look like a ton of rain is expected and it should kind of fizzle out by Monday night. So looking at the weekend weather, I mean, it's pretty decent minus the showers coming in Sunday night. Temps will be climbing over the weekend. Coldest night will be tomorrow night. We could actually get some wind gusts topping 35 miles an hour. It'll be blustery Saturday morning and then the wind gradually subsides Saturday afternoon afternoon. Quiet for Sunday with building clouds. Low 70s with some wet weather to start off the week and then we turn cool again midweek. Low 60s Wednesday, Thursday, upper 50s Friday and we may see more clouds and a few showers by next weekend. Mary, back